I'm going to shoot a video on how to uh, install this here choke cable. This here is a Toro model 30698. This is not the OEM cable on here. It's actually the, the same ones I sell on eBay. You will need two things. You will need either a 916 or a 14 millimeter open end wrench. And you will need, I'm going to suggest a 516 socket. You could do that with a, with a wrench too. This top one on the Toro is your choke cable on the Kawasaki. Okay, but to check it, what you can do is manually activate the choke like that and check and see which one of these moves then you know for sure that the top one is your choke so you'll need to loosen this okay that'll be your first thing I would recommend using a 5 16 socket it'll probably be quarter inch drive okay once you have this loose you can pull this outwards and the cable should come out. You may, I don't know if on the original they have zip ties, you may have to cut through them if it does. Then you need to loosen down here, there's probably going to be a nut. I've got a wing nut here, but that's that's my own thing. I've decided to use a regular nut because the wing nut gets in the way here. It's, it's not the best thing. It's just convenient, but it's not the best. So the nut is going to be what's going to go down there. So you, you need to loosen whatever's down here, okay? I don't know if you're going to need an open end wrench, probably. It's probably a nut. And then this comes off, okay? Yeah, and, it, and the whole thing will slide out. Then when you get your new cable, before you install it, you will need to loosen this nut. By hand, it should loosen by hand, and that and the washer come off. Okay, now I'm going to show you something here. Before you do anything, see that. You want to activate this cable, make sure it works like it should. Okay, it's going to come all wrapped together like this, too. You want to unravel it, obviously, as nice, easy as possible because you don't want to bend any of these parts. Okay, once you're ready to install the cable, and you can try and kind of straighten it up a little, you know, like so. But it's going to have a curve to it. And once you get the old one out, you bring the new one and slide it through here. There's going to be a hole here on the Toro. I don't know where this goes on X mark. Okay. Then, once you have that through the hole, you bring the cable around the front of the mower. Okay, or wherever you you got it. Okay, I need to see. Okay, and you need that washer first. Okay, and the nut. And you need to slide those all the way to the top. But what you're gonna do, since you have the cable already installed, you're gonna come up in here, and you're gonna come up here. Okay. When you're up in there. You just probably hand tighten the nut. Okay, there, there's no adjustment. You just hand tighten it for for now. We'll maybe leave a little bit of play. Okay. I don't know if you want to tighten it right off. Maybe that's a good idea. Maybe not. Maybe wait till the very end to tighten it. I would. When you come around the front, I shed a little light on here this here and I'm going to show you on this hole okay but that's your throttle so you're going to put it in this hole and the way to do it is with this cable 
hope you can see. With this cable you come in like this and twist it like so. It's fairly simple. It's just a it's just a little twist here. It's just got to go on there like so, and that's it. Now that's like I said. That's the bottle. It'll actually go on here. Once you have that, you you will want to tighten that, and then this here should be in the down position, and this will be all the way out. Okay. That that means it's open. Okay, like that. I'll make sure it's all the way out. Then you want to tighten this thing down. Okay. I believe you have to take this completely off and then you have to reinstall it completely. The cable goes in the bottom of this thing and I believe, yeah, the top's got this little uh, tab there that goes in that indentation. Right? I don't have three hands, guys right there okay and uh, and you want to tighten this pretty good just snug it down and then you want to check and make sure that thing opens up or closes and opens and closes and opens okay and that's how that works So, quick recap, pull the, get the old cable off, you need a 5 16 for that, don't forget there might be zip ties, if you don't have zip ties, I did zip tie this to the choke, I mean the throttle cable on mine, and down here onto the transmission mount just to keep it from moving around. And once you get the old cable out you'll need to untwist this, that's your nut, and pull the nut and the washer, the washer and the nut completely off. Then you insert this through here and pull it all the way through, snake it around the front. Actually before you do that I will take the washer and put it back on here and the nut afterwards and slide them all the way up here and tighten them at least by hand okay then you bring it around here you insert this little piece in here and make sure it's it's open this is open all the way out is open gosh this thing's actually <laughs> Anyway, all the way out is open. I think mine's actually got a little place. It probably doesn't have to be perfect, but try to get it close as possible. Then once that's there, and that, that needs to be in the down position, and you should be able to put this back on. There's a little, like a tab there that goes in that notch on, on the, uh, on that, that piece, whatever that's called. I can't remember. And then tighten that with the 5 16 You could use a flathead or a Phillips head as well. I would be afraid of stripping that screw. I would use a 5 16 uh, socket. Then you want to take your 9 16 or 14 millimeter and tighten that nut down here pretty good. And then last but not least, check and make sure it works. Okay, before you take this thing out in the field. You want to actually start the mower and make sure it's you can start it before you go loading it up on the trailer. That's all I got. Thank you for watching.